you're listening to the Dave Canning Sports Show. Here's your host, the voice, Dave Canning. Welcome to my house. Gentlemen, welcome back to my house. Welcome back to the Dave Cave. And most importantly, welcome back to another brand new episode of the Dave Canning Sports Show. I am your host, as always, the voice Dave Canning. And I've got my Yankee hoodie on today because it may be cold outside. However, that off-season baseball hot stove is getting heated up, ladies and gentlemen. We have a trade of the off-season. Breaking news here on the Dave Canning Sports Show. The Yankees, my New York Yankees. Brian Cashman said we were going to go get two aces this offseason, and he's made half his promise come true because the New York Yankees have now acquired left-handed pitcher from the Seattle Mariners, James Paxton. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The Yankees, James Paxton, coming to the Bronx from the Seattle Mariners. In return, the Yankees will send out... Uh, tri- uh, three minor league prospects in outfielder Dom Thompson Williamson, right handed pitcher Eric Swanson, and the marquee name of the Yankees portion of this trade, left handed pitcher Justice Sheffield. Now, I loved Justice Sheffield. I was lucky enough to see him when I went out to Scranton to see the Rail Riders play earlier this season, and I got to see him play in the Bronx as well in the later part of the season. And this kid is legit, he's got great potential. Um, there was rumor, though, however, Um, whether he was going to be a starting pitcher or a relief pitcher. Um, He did really good as a starter and then, you know, had some hiccups, so he decided to move into the bullpen, and he had great success out of the pen, made his debut in the Bronx out of the bullpen. Now, my thing with that is, if you want to make him a bullpen pitcher, okay, but the Yankees have enough depth in the bullpen. They've got Robertson and, you know, obviously Chapman and, um, you know, all those guys out there. So... If you want to keep Sheffield as a reliever, that's fine, but then he might have to be moved. Obviously, he was moved because the problem was not get, you know, the bullpen. The problem was getting the bullpen, this all-star lineup of a bullpen, a lead to play with, you know, and obviously the starters weren't able to get that done. So now you go out and you add a stud in James Paxton and look at what he's done last year. You know, last year alone in 2018, 28 games, 11-6, 3.76 11 and 6, 3.76 ERA with 208 Ks in just 160 innings. He kind of tailored off towards the end. Of, you know, he, he suffered from from some uh, back stiffness. Um, so if he can remain healthy, and that's always the big key to these seasons. You know, obviously Didi's going into the season. He's he's hurt. Last year we had uh, Glaber Torres who was recovering from Tommy John. You know, everybody gets hurt, and it's the team that gets hurt the least that usually winds up winning the whole thing. So. James Paxton, if he's healthy, he's a great addition, and I like this trade. Obviously, to get something so good like a James Paxton, you have to give up something good, and that's what the Yankees had to do. They had to give up Justice Sheffield, unfortunately. Um, So best of luck to him. He's going to kill it in Seattle, and let's hope that James Paxton can kill it here in New York. Now, some of the Yankee fans who watch this show may be wondering, who is James Paxton? You know, I've, I've never heard of him. Let me show you one image that will show you who James Paxton is. James Paxton, on April 5th, during a flyover, a bald eagle flyover during the National Anthem, had a bald eagle land on him. He didn't go over his head. No, the eagle, talons and all, landed on James Paxton. And he didn't, like, he kind of flinched, but, like, then he's just, you know... Keeps respecting the anthem or not. It's awesome. So James Paxton has pretty much already put money in the pocket of Bald Vinny because we know that's going to be some sort of shirt on the app. I see you, Bald Vinny. Hashtag respect the hustle. So let's see what happens. Can, you know, that magical moment of a bald eagle landing on our pitcher, you know, spark something for the Yankees in 2019? Maybe a parade through the Canyon of Heroes? I hope so. I've already got the cold gear ready to go. So uh, let's see what happens. Brian Cashman said two ace pitchers coming to the Yankees halfway to that promise. 
Machado, Harper, so many other big names yet to be signed, traded, all the good stuff of the baseball offseason. That hot stove, baby, just getting heated up. It is only November, and we've already got a blockbuster trade. Who knows what's going to happen the rest of the time, but we're going to let you know all about it this offseason right here on the Dave Canning Sports Show, and that's going to do it for this episode of the Dave Canning Sports Show. I have been your host, reminding you, you can hit me up on all the platforms forms of social media you can go check me out on facebook.com slash dave c the voice twitter at dave c the voice snapchat dave c the voice and right here on youtube make sure you're hitting that subscribe button below make sure you subscribe to the channel like this video share it with your friends tell me what you think of the trade in the comments section below let me know what trades you want to see happen potentially whether it be with the yankees cubs indians red sox mariners whoever you got you know, you're rooting for. Let me know who you want to see be traded or your team signed. Let me know in the comment section below. We'll talk all about it. Plenty of off-season action to happen. And we'll get to all that on future episodes. I promise you that. And uh, until next time, on behalf of the Dave Canning Sports Show, I've been your host, Dave Canning, reminding you to tell your mother you love her every day. Because like Kevin Durant said, Mom, you're the real MVP. Good night, everyone. And God bless America.